guys welcome back to the channel so today I'm going to be doing a Poundland haul for you so I'm going to get right into it so I've got a few stocking fillers and a few Christmassy bits that I want to show you so the first item that I'm going to show you is this dairy box that I picked up so this is just one of those things that you can add to a present to make it look a little bit more filled out so this was actually two pounds but I don't think you can go wrong really with like a nice box of chocolates I like the packaging on it I think it's pretty I and mean, you get all sorts of different chocolates in there including cookies and cream sundae which sounds absolutely amazing and also orange surprise so orange and strawberry cream are my favorite so I love that item and then I also picked up a couple of, of these books for children. I thought these were really, really good. So the first one that I picked up was this Lion King book. So uh, this was only a pound, which I thought was amazing. Seeing as Lion King has only just come out on film, I thought this was really relevant and kids would really like it. The pictures are really lovely in the book as well. As you can see, really beautiful illustrations. And I think children would really love that sort of of any age. I also picked up the Disney one because, again, this film has only just come out and this was a pound. And I thought it might be a really nice Christmas present if you're unsure of what to get for somebody who's got a child or maybe even you've got kids yourself and you just want to add a little bit more to their presents. I thought these were great. I also picked up a little piglet one, but I've already wrapped that unfortunately, so I won't be able to show it to you. But if you pop in, you might be able to see it. I thought they were absolutely brilliant for Christmas. These, so I'm doing a Christmas Eve party and I don't actually have enough plates for the amount of people that are coming so I just went into the pound shop and picked up these I thought these were quite cute very Christmassy very festive with a reindeer on and Christmas trees and I just thought they were really nice colour so they're like a dark grey and then to go with those I've got some sort of matching napkins that say walking in a winter wonderland again these were just a pound and I bought two of those I also picked up the matching bowls because we will be having some sort of a cake or dessert. The next item that I picked up was one of these feather boas. Oh, I went into the store looking for these, so this is what I initially went in for because I wanted these for my Christmas tree. I'm probably a little bit late now to put it on, but I thought it was still nice. I'll probably keep it for next year. It, I went into a new store and it actually took me ages to find this. Um, and then I got there and there was only one pink one. One pink one? One white one left. So I picked it up, but then when I got to the till, the lady in front of me had three white feather boas. I was like, oh, if I would have just found them sooner, I would have gone in the store like five minutes earlier, I would have picked up more. But what I might do is I might get another one like later in the year and then save that for next Christmas. I also picked up these two Christmas Santa hats. So these are just a little bit of a laugh at Christmas. So when me and my hubby go round to um, the father-in-laws and also to my grandma's, we'll probably put these on because we'll have a few presents to give out so we can pretend that we're being Santa. And then we also picked up a couple of stocking fillers so we got these brussels sprouts we just thought they were quite funny just some chocolate treats we also picked up some orange smarties because are they not just the best smarties that you can get and um, for a pound i mean why not pick them up we also picked up some classic gold coins because who doesn't love a gold coin at christmas to be fair literally the whole day is pretty much spent eating christmas dinner and the leftovers and chocolate right i always have chocolate for breakfast on christmas i know that is horrible but it's christmas we do it once a year don't you so we also picked up these pink gin drops. I think that's a great Christmas present for anybody who likes gin. Um, and they look really pretty. And they were only a pound. I can't believe that the pound shop sells such like nice things. We went into TK Maxx and they had loads of sweets and stuff. Um, admittedly, they're a bit more fancy than that, but they're all like seven or eight pounds. So if you are if you just need a stocking filler, that might be a little bit too expensive. Whereas you could get a couple of those and just add them into the present and it looked look really nice. And then we also picked up some of these Hershey's Cookies and Cream Rounds. I've not tried these before, but I love, love, love the um, Cadbury's Oreo. And they reminded me a little bit of those. So I'm going to give them a go and see what they're like. And then, of course, we couldn't leave the doggies out. So we also bought them some treats. So firstly, because my dog, she's a Labradoodle. And I don't know if it's a hunting instinct in her, but she loves soft toys, but they don't last very long. So we tend to just get a cheap ones. So we've got this little, oh, it's got a feather on it. Little dog, so 
This is perfect because it doesn't even have the bead, beaded eyes, they're sewn on. Um, so she can have that straight away and enjoy that on Christmas Day. Yes, we do wrap the dog's presents up. Does anybody else? Let me know in the comments below what you do for your dog at Christmas. <laughs> we also got a couple of these large dentist stick advanced. So really good for the teeth, but also they'll really enjoy them at Christmas. And also we got them the Jumbone Medium Beef. She likes anything beef flavoured and um, what I like about the pound shop is they do the branded dog treats so I always go for the branded ones in B&M and Home Bargains and Poundland just because I've heard horror stories of other treats I'm sure they're fine and she had them before but I just like to be on the safe side now and we also got these are the jumbones but in the turkey flavour so she's got to have some you know Christmas dinner for well or Christmas treat for her on Christmas day as well so I've gone for those and that is it that was a really really quick Poundland haul but I really hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to leave a comment below and if you did enjoy it and you want to see more videos please don't forget to subscribe because it really helps my channel have a lovely Christmas and New Year I'll be back to my normal upload schedule not next Wednesday because it's Christmas but the following Wednesday and yeah have a lovely Christmas and New Year like I said and thank you so much for watching bye bye Oh,